So we are making our way through the evening. We have two more poets um, to go. I hope everyone is having a good time. You all have Um, in order to continue this trend of laughing, crying, and getting angry, um, the next poet is Tyler Vile. Um, oh, wait a second. Okay, yeah, I, it's a is, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, not on my phone, on a yeah. piece of paper. Tyler Vile is a poet, performer, and activist from Baltimore, Maryland, whose work has been featured in publications like Gadfly, Blue Stockings Magazine, and The Bicycle Review. She recently spotlighted at Sparkle, DC's queer open mic series, and slammed at Capturing Fire, DC's queer poetry festival. Her chapbook, Hasidic Witch Murderer, is available now. Um, and, she is, and she is also here to read to you. Guys! Yeah. There we go. Hi, everybody. Oh my god, this is fucking fantastic. Um, I sat on my ass for like three and a half, four hours on a Bolt bus from Baltimore just to be here. Um, yeah, I just, I have such a crush on this entire room. <laughs> Um, so I decided, because, you know, it was a, um, a long day to treat myself and read one of my favorite poems that, that I've uh, ever written. And, you know, the worst thing that's going to happen is I talk this poem up and y'all don't like it as much as I do. <laughs> but, um, but we're going to go in with it. Ode to my boy jeans. I wore this same outfit when I was 15. I had blue hair and a beard. The hair dye it stayed in the back of my ears and neck for a week. There's still a bleach stain on these jeans. Of course they smell like weed. Who the hell you think you're talking to? You can see them even in the outline of this loose fitting shirt. My ass looks better than it ever has in these jeans. And thank fuck I rarely ever get hard ons anymore. Or I can't shake the feeling that I'm wearing a dead kid's clothes. That he was a ghost who passed through the lives of people I loved and lied about me. These were his genes. And I should be so lucky to hold on to them. These mean slipping on the beer-soaked sidebar floor and never putting them in the wash. These be perfect. You give to a trans-masculine friend who's about my size, but they're mine. I am 15 again. I want blue hair. I want Blunt wraps and 40 ounce bottles of malt liquor. I want a world that knows the difference between a deep voice tomboy and a man. I want to be referred to as they just as often as she. I want a mirror that shows was the boy and the girl inside me. Be holding hands as they I smear myself with charcoal. I want to look that 15 year old kid in the eye and say, I don't hate you. It's not your fault. I want to wear these jeans more often. I want the people who have any shot at unbuttoning them to treat my genitals like a clit in a labia. I want the kisses I was too scared to ask for at 15. I want femininity on my terms. And that means I'm keeping these jeans. Chesapeake, grooved leg bones slowly fusing, skin forming into scales, wet wavy hair are streaking across shoulders, clamshell bra falling off, face in the water, not trying to drown for once. My bones don't click anymore, I'm not waiting or standing in the water like a crane. I'm not gasping, I'm swimming away. Tricks. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Kat. <laughs> um, 
I have... Wait, do you think that one would save the blanket? Oh, I have this one! Oh, this is a fun one. Oh, hold on. There we go. For the queer cis girls. I've wanted to fuck you since we met. <laughs> your lips are tender against mine. I don't want to use my dick. I want to kiss your bird tattoos before they fly in the middle of your back and spread their wings. Do you want to walk the webbing of our finger just for a while and let go? Do you want to wait? It's okay. You can nuzzle against my shoulder if you really want to. You know what? Forget it. It's not important. Can I try on one of your dresses? <laughs> I really like that green one with the wooden beads on the shoulder straps. Wait, did you just say you were a lesbian? I guess I must be gay. I do really like dudes, but my life would be easier if I were a girl, you know? I could date you. I could wear dresses like that green one or that orange one with the floral prints. Oh my god. <laughs> I could have tits. I wish that were real. Am I making sense? Fuck. I'm sorry. I get where you're coming from. We can be friends at least, right? Let's be friends. Spazzy hands, long night, you know, that's how it works. And, um, I have one, it's called the Queer, To the Queer Trans Girls, which I figure is a nice follow-up. So, I'm yeah. gonna do it, do it, but it, it doesn't seem to be here. Okay, whatever, this one's called, um, Come With Me America. It's from my chapbook, Hasidic Witch Murder, which was, mentioned in my bio and sold yesterday at um, NYC Feminist Scene Fest. We uh, sold out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ask Kat. <laughs> Come with me, America. I've looked for you in mirrors full of goatees and zits. I, I've lost you in unstrapped Velcro shoes as crutch cuffs spun around my arm and made me kiss the concrete, trying to catch up to you with every stoplight from Baltimore to Barcelona. Fell down stone steps with crutches dangling on my arm, split my head open on locker doors, blood gushing out to meet you. I am nobody's reincarnation, everybody's asshole cousin-in-law, and someone else's idea of a good time. When my head throbs, yours does too. When my hands glow with warmth, I put them wherever you need me to. We shiver in terror together, arms clasped around each other, breathing like broken oxygen tanks. I wail through the decades like a drunk trying to shatter the mask of manhood. Let's dig deep and, and plant our seed in fertile soiled fruit and flesh. Teenage prayers sink teeth into crevices of writhing bodies, fucking in the asana and joining in droplets of sweat. Where was I when my hands stopped trembling? Did you catch me there? Wait. I think my right thigh is ringing, <coughs> rattling its bone like an army crawling baby. Yeah, I touched my eyebrow arch to see if you're still sitting there. You rascal, you radical, you mighty feared enemy of the college Republican. Blame <laughs> <laughs> it on, on Plymouth Rock and Coney Island, who has unnamed relatives gassed in Polish boxcars and burned at witch trials. Fear pours like concrete through your blood streak. You might know you. Gone from turtle to rabbit on a love machine, kill killing fascists, I'll give you the craziest mo ride you can imagine. Bowl me over with your eyelids. Let's burst out of cocoons under streetlights at Wyman or constellations by the Mason Dixon. We can't hold back anymore. This is our birthright. Thank you.